Manager's amendment today. Um, this amendment includes my provision um, to recognize the importance of flood mapping technology um, and the incredible tools that those technologies provide to support um, disaster uh, mitigation, um, which we are uh, very familiar with in Iowa. Um, last night we just had a bout of some severe weather that went through, but I um, have a lot of experience in, with that, and um, I know many of my colleagues in this room have had similar experiences as well, um, or represent a district that has suffered like mine has. Um, it was during my time as a journalist um, in 2008 um, in Cedar Rapids covering the flood. Um, we called it the epic surge um, because it was. It was an epic surge. Um, it caused incredible damage to our community um, and incredible heartbreak to our community. Um, it was coined as Iowa's Katrina at the time, um, and it was some of the worst flooding that my home community and my home state of Iowa had ever seen. Uh, the Cedar River crested to its highest level in Cedar Rapids history, uh, 31.12 feet. And so I, I did some digging on some context just to, to make that relatable. And the, the U.S. House chamber is 36 feet high. So um, that would basically almost fill the entire chamber, just to give you a perspective of how high that water was. Um, the previous record had only been 20 feet, so um, well above that. Um, and the damage was um, not only just... A, a, it was insane to see, but it was extremely costly as well. Um, the damages caused by the 2008 flooding and the related disasters are considered the sixth largest FEMA disaster ever. Um, financial losses from floods are serious. Estimates are around $13.5 billion in direct flood-related property losses from 1998 to 2015 in Iowa alone. Um, and in the wake of the devastating 2008 flood, some good came out of that, and the Iowa Flood Center was born. Um, the Iowa Flood Center has been at the forefront of watching the increasing river levels in the state since its inception. Um, this gives Iowans access to the latest in technology and the resources to help our communities and our businesses prepare for floods in the future um, and become more resilient to their effects as well. Um, the center does incredible work, uh, such as providing innovative science-based flood mapping technologies to help our communities um, and, to, again, help mitigate flood-related disasters. Um, Real-time information on soil moisture, watersheds, precipitation, stream level gauges, um, which allows those susceptible to respond before disasters occur and then again help mitigate. Um, through support and funding from NOAA, the IFC has uh, made Iowa a role model for the nation, and I know their work is just getting started, and this definitely helps that work. Um, many other projects are currently underway uh, to help Iowans be more flood resilient and to be better prepared, um, and the center is working to share this information um, with neighboring states and other river communities who may experience um, similar disasters. Um, so investing in and supporting flood mapping technologies is not only a smart investment, as we've seen, it's absolutely a critical investment. Um, and by analyzing the data that comes from this, we can reduce the overall uh, cost of flooding disasters in the future for local um, communities, and most importantly, that's taxpayers who foot that bill. Um, so I can assure you that um, flood control and mitigation are uh, much less expensive than the incredible economic loss, um, the clean up the damage, and then uh, rebuilding of lives after a devastating flood. Um, again, this amendment emphasizes the importance of those flood mapping technologies and the help that they provide to flood susceptible communities. It encourages NOAA through the um, JTTI to continue supporting innovative weather and flood technologies. So again, we should aim to make flood mitigation a part of recovery, give centers like the Iowa Flood Center the tools that they need to be part of the solution. Um, we need to help them so they can help others. Um, definitely a simple ask, but I, I thank you for supporting this um, really important, crucial piece of uh, the legislation, and um, I urge everybody to support the amendment. Thank you. I yield back.